Well, my friends, the loot has changed in our Grandmaster difficulties and for some of the big bad boy monsters out there in the world. Ooh, they're keeping their promises. Let's talk about it. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Anthem brothers and sisters. How is everyone doing out there in Anthem land? If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your fun and updates and news for Anthem. Yeah, just hit subscribe because my beard will grant you eternal life. It's all true, I swear. So, as promised via the Bioware dev team over there in Amazing Sauce in Austin and Edmonton, uh, they have promised, like we said a couple days ago, that they will be making small incremental changes to the loot system um, within the next couple months. And we got one today. Yes, we did. We got some loot changes and how loot drops are working, uh, being buffed and bolstered a bit, huh? In uh, Grandmaster 2 and 3, and with the bigger enemies out there as well. So, first off, no, I doubt this has anything to do with the the protest that's happening. Yeah, uh, but they are keeping word to their promise, and that is what we want to pay attention to, not the naysayers of the community. <sighs> Anyways, let's go in. Let's see what Chad Robinson had to say about these things right here. Chad Robinson says, We've been listening to your feedback and analyzing in-game telemetry. We are boosting drop rates in the game for, Gil for Grandmaster 2 and Grandmaster 3 difficulty levels, as well as select enemies in the game. He continues, As mentioned previously, this is the first of series of updates we're making to the loot and endgame progression. You can expect more updates in our next patch. This changes live in-game right now, so jump in and enjoy it. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. Note this change may note, I'm sorry, note this change might take a few hours to propagate around all of our servers for players currently in game. Now here we go with a little taste of uh, what we're all going to get right here. With the Masterwork and Legendary drop rates have been increased for Grandmaster 2 and Grandmaster 3 difficulty levels, as we have just said. And the Masterwork and Legendary drop rates have been increased for harder enemies at all difficulty levels. This is awesome. At all difficulty levels. Not a lot of people are talking about this, so let's get into it. This includes Legendary Titan, Epic Titan, Legendary Fury, Legendary Acid Ursarix, Ur and the Legendary Luminary Elder. So this right here, my friends, is, is pretty awesome. I am excited for this. Um, from what I've been hearing, I haven't been able to jump into those things, but what I have been hearing is that people... Uh, are really liking it and they're going wow these are actually worth playing right now why they did not do anything for grandmaster one they have not said and i'm not quite sure uh but if they did say link it to me and uh, we'll talk about it right there uh but i think this is exciting they are keeping to the word they are keeping to the promises which is all we can ask them really to do and uh, you know hopefully this will stop a lot of the naysaying out there but you know how that works right you know the internet's the internet anyways my friends Hit that like button if you like what you see here. Put a comment in the comment section below. Have you in, um, noticed a uh, good increase in your uh, GM2 and GM3? Um, are you excited about this? Is this the right step in the right direction? I personally think this is, and we are going in the best direction. And if you really like what you see here, my friends, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your fun. Become part of the family here at Boomy Nation, the freak show of YouTube, the black sheep of gaming. My friends, as always, remember to be kind. It's about community. And we'll see you later. Good day.